spectrum of black body radiation in terms of wavelength now if we consider a black body which is giving out energy in the form of electromagnetic waves having a wide range of wavelengths now the energy that is 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 not equally distributed over these wavelengths different wavelengths has got different energy now this was studied by our scientist Lummer and Pringsham. The study of distribution of energy uh, with, uh, amongst the various wavelengths was carried out by these two scientists. What they did was at fixed, different fixed temperatures, they measured the intensity of radiation corresponding to different wavelengths. The measurement was represented graphically in the form of curves. Now in this diagram, we have different fixed temperatures. Now what they did was on the x-axis was the wavelength and the intensity of radiation or the energy emitted was E lambda on the y-axis. What it was the measurements were represented graphically in the form of curves showing the variation of intensity of radiation that is E lambda with the wavelength at different constant temperatures. Now out of this uh, few results were obtained what they showed was the first one was at any given temperature okay now if we yeah at any given temperature for example 1000 K as the lambda the energy is not uniformly distributed from uh, amongst all the wavelengths so as the lambda changes the e lambda also changes okay and it is not uniform it's not a straight line it is a curve at any given temperature the intensity of radiation increases with the increase in wavelength so as the wavelength or lambda increases the e lambda also increases but up till a certain point which is the maximum point for the intensity of radiation and further to this as the lambda increases the intensity of the radiation decreases that is e lambda decreases okay so first is increases as the lambda increases and then e lambda decreases as the lambda increases at a fixed temperature the third one is a little tricky what it says is it is about lambda max the wavelength uh, corresponding to the maximum intensity of radiation that is the lambda max decreases with the increase in temperature okay what it exactly means is if this is the lambda max for 1000 this is the lambda max for 1250 degree K this is the lambda max for 1450 degree K and this is the lambda max for 1650 degree K so the lambda max actually decreases with the increase in temperature it means it comes sooner on the x-axis okay decreases means it comes sooner on the x-axis so that is what it actually means now the next one is the temperature is increased the total energy radiation also increases now what it actually means is if you take an uh, example of 1000 degree Kelvin the total energy radiation is the area under the curve so this is the area under the curve so this is the total energy radiation with the increase in temperature the total energy radiation or the area under the curve increases this is for 1250 so with the increase in temperature the area under the curve or the total energy radiation has increased and this is for the 1650 okay you get the point then um, now in third equation what we said that the lambda max with the increase in temperature the lambda max actually comes sooner or, is it, or it decreases so with increase in temperature it has got a reciprocal it has got an inverse relationship with the lambda max so lambda max is inversely proportional to temperature or temperature is inversely proportional to lambda max this gives us an equation called as the Wien's displacement law in which lambda max is inversely proportional to temperature or lambda max t equal to constant now the constant is a Wien's constant and its value is 2.9 to 10 to the power minus 3 meter degree Kelvin okay now this law is useful in estimating the surface temperatures of celestial bodies such as the moon and the sun and other stars of course for the radiation received from the moon the lambda max we know corresponds to the maximum intensity and it is 14 to 10 to the power minus 6 meters now if we substitute the constant in the lambda max for the moon then the temperature uh, at the surface of the moon is around 200 degree k similarly solar radiation has a maximum intensity at 4785 angstrom units and using Wien's law the temperature at the surface of the sun is found to be 6060 degree kelvin Similarly, we can use uh, this law at uh, various places. For example, for finding the color of the piece of, uh, or why why the color of the piece of metal heated over a flame becomes dull red, then yellow red, and finally white dot. So these are some of the applications of the spectrum of blackbody radiation in terms of wavelength.